What's going on guys? It's George from Gemini 10 Collectors World. I'm here to reveal our 70 card uh, prep order uh, that we're sending to PSA. Uh, we do it through my Facebook group, Gemini 10 Collectors World. If you're interested in joining our group submission, go to uh, Facebook group, Gemini 10 Collectors World, ask to join, and I'll give you all the information. Uh, so in this order, we have a few guys in it. It's gonna be my guests, myself, and uh, Eli. So three guys on this one order. Uh, I don't like, usually like sending out cards during the Christmas time. It's just crazy with the shipping and stuff like that. So what I'll do is I'm gonna prep these cards, do the final uh, prep, and then what I, well, I'll ship it out probably after, uh, after New Year's. Um, just to know, to let you guys know what I do for my prep, uh, and I suggest you guys do the same thing, is I look through the cards with a magnifying glass, um, I use a wipe, usually uh, my wife's uh, Tiffany, for her Tiffany glasses or just any kind of sunglass wipe, uh, wipe down the, the surfaces, especially with the new cards, the chrome cards, uh, get everything off that and uh, check the corners. So PSA grades three things, basic things. It's going to be corners, surface and centering. Uh, for the new cards, I'm looking for all for tens and I suggest you guys do the same thing. Um, so if I see one thing wrong with the new card, uh, I just won't grade it. Um, and uh, for the older cards, like uh, I have a, a few uh, 71s here, um, what I'll do is um, I'll look for a PSA 7, especially for the 71. It's really hard, tough to get good high grades, but I'm looking for a 7, 8 on those old cards. And then when you get uh, newer and newer, I'm looking for 10s. Uh, so this is the order. So I'm going to go through my pile first. So the first card is a Steve uh, Jim Palmer, sorry, 1971. And um, it is tough to grade with the black borders. This one looks pretty good. I'm gonna predict, centering is good. I'm gonna predict a seven. Um, if I get an eight, I'll be extremely happy, but I'm, I'm looking for a seven on this one. So uh, 1971 tops. It's notorious for, for, for to get high grades in this one, but this one looks pretty good. And I'm gonna send this in. Uh, next up is a card that, uh, to tell you the truth, is a little bit of an experiment. I sent this in, a card in to PSA in an earlier order, and it got min size require, uh, uh, required, meaning that it's smaller than for them to grade. So I'm going to send it in to get again. I've done that before, and then, and one grader uh, said min size uh, required. The other guy graded it. So this is for my 71 uh, set that I'm building. So a 1971 Rod Carew, and... Um, I'm saying about a six on this one. I think the Garvey is in better condition. And here is the Garvey. So this is a 1971 uh, Steve Garvey rookie. And I'm um, sending this one in. It is, it is a little off center in the back there, as you can see. And the top and the front, left to right, but a good condition card. Uh, maybe a six, possibly a seven on this one. Next up is some cards from the new Prisms for football. Um, Josh Jacobs, I think he's going to be one of the best running backs from the new, uh, from the rookie batch. So here's a, a rookie Josh Jacobs. Next up is a silver prism and it's uh, Dwayne Haskins. Uh, mixed results on his rookie year. I know Washington is having a tough year. Um, uh, I think he's going to be good, but uh, this in a 10 will look really nice. Silver uh, Dwayne Haskins. Next up, he's also having an up and down year. Uh, getting more press for his mustache than uh, than throwing the ball, but you know, I think he's going to be okay. So uh, I think he just got the starter back. They just got, got him to be a starter again. So we'll see what he does. So I'm going to throw that one in. Darnell Savage, and this is a uh, uh, autograph, and um, I think he's uh, he's having a good rookie year. So Don Darnell Savage is junior. Here we go, another autograph from the Prism, Lonnie Johnson Jr. And we got Joe Joe Juan, Juan Williams. Two first names in that first one. Stuff to say, but there's his auto right there. Here we go. Here we have some of the 2019-20 um, uh, series one that I'm sending in. So Kale McCarr um, leading the league in points for as a defenseman. So um, his um, his young gun is in series two. Uh, they only have the Young Gun canvas on Series 1, but I'm sending that in. This is a cool card. I know it's, uh, uh, I liked uh, Tony Twist growing up. He was one of the best tough guys, but it is a 101. The first 101 I've gotten from uh, Upper Deck Series 1. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to send that in. Here's some Young Guns. Here we have the the amazing exclusive. So this is numbered uh, out of uh, 100. And um, so 
I'm sending this one in. Here's some guys that I like for Young Guns. Alexander Tejer. We got Matt Roy from the Kings. Young Guns are always the hottest sellers. One of the hottest sellers. Here is uh, Philip Sedina. That's a UD canvas. And um, Young Guns. So that's pretty cool. If you guys see my earlier breaks, I opened up a Black Diamond. Just thought I'd show you this. Pretty cool patch. Look at that jumbo patch. Amazing. And it's the same guy. So... That's one of the best patches I've seen. That is from the Black Diamond. Anyways, we'll go. We'll continue. Adam Fox. I think this guy's going to be good as well from the Rangers. And then we got um, the hottest rookies so far. This guy's the number one pick, Jack Hughes. He's not having a slow start, but uh, I think he'll pick it up. So I got two Jack Hughes, and what I think is going to be the best rookie, Quinn Hughes. And that's probably one of the most expensive, the hottest cards right now. Quinn Hughes, two of them, those. Here is some short prints from the 2018 and 19 Tops update. We got Mike Messina. We got Chavez, short print. Babe Ruth, I think this is from the 18 update. Big Mac, Mark McGuire. And Pedro Martinez. And my favorite player of all time, and somebody who I collect, Nolan Ryan. Those short prints are pretty cool. Here is a cool card. Uh, I just uh, liked uh, Tony Gwynn growing up. I thought he was the, probably the best hitter in his era. Almost hit 400 one year. And this is a piece of his bat, number to 150. I might keep this into my, in my personal collection. Here's a couple cards uh, that I'm sending in. Uh, a couple of Jim Tomey rated rookies. I think that's from 92. And a, couple, a guy that I'm starting to collect, Griffey. In my register, PSA, a couple Griffies in there that I think are going to be tens. Here is Top's Finest, one of my favorite sets, 1993, the first uh, set that had the refractor. We got a Nazi Smith. Here's a Top's Finest uh, from 94, and it's a Reggie Brooks. Here's a cool card. Bernard King, 1978 Tops, looks like a great centering. This one should get a nine. Possibly a 10 on this one. Really high, high, have high hopes on that one. Willie McGinnis, 1994 Tops rookie. And Aaron Glenn for the same set. Here's some football. We got uh, Paris Campbell, and that is number 275, I think. That's from the new Prism. We got uh, Justice Hill, and that's number 249. And we got some odds and ends here, so we got. Uh, we got a, a Otto Spanberger. Walker Bueller just sold a bunch of his cards. Really hot right now, so sending this one in as well. And here we got some Prism for basketball. We got Alani Walker Fast Break. Michael Porter Jr. Mitchell Robinson. These Prisms are going crazy in price. The new one's coming out in February. And we got Mikhail Bridges. He's, he's really good. Looking for tens on all these ones. Triple J, Justin Jackson the third, and DeAndre Atten. So that's uh, the first batch. The second batch is from Mike. So Mike's got some pretty cool cards. He's got a some Jimenez rookies from the top series. Fernando Tati, another good one. He's got two of those. He's sending in Vladdy. There's a Vladdy. And uh, he's got some Alonzos he's sending in, so I think about three or four Alonzos. Alonzo's always hot right now after working the Rookie of the Year. Here is a Bowman, uh, Vlad uh, Sr. That's pretty cool. I got this one uh, graded, I think it's an 8.5 that I got. Here we go from the Sterling, Victor Mesa Jr. We got uh, Luke and Baker. This guy's getting a lot of hype. I think probably he's going to start breaking out next year. Here's another Alonzo. And we got a couple Fletcher's autographs. This one's a purple, and I think it's number 250. And this is just a base Fletcher. Here's a Devers, and that is number 250. Is that a gold wave? It's pretty tough to know all these inserts, what they're called, especially when you're grading. This is numbered to 25, and it looks like an orange wave. That's a Mookie Betts. 
Here is a bat down for a holiday series, Acuna, not as expensive. I actually sent in a, a bat down that I'm getting back pretty soon, guys, so look out for that uh, PSA order. Uh, hopefully I get a 10 on that one. It's going up, it's up to about $1,500. And last but not least, we got the Billy Ripken with the F face on it, iconic card. Uh, this, is, this is one of the coolest cards to get when you're a kid, obviously because of the swearing. So pretty cool card that he's sending in. So um, just a recap, if you're interested in joining our group breaks, uh, it's Facebook, uh, Gem and Tent Collectors World. We also do box breaks up there, guys. So if you're interested, uh, ask to join. Um, and uh, all these cards that I'm sending in, my cards are going to be on my eBay store, call them up to Geo underscore seven. Uh, I got about 260 cards there, uh, PSA graded vintage and new cards. So go on there, guys, make me an offer and let's make a deal. And Instagram, we're just hitting our 1600 follower. Uh, it's been amazing run. run. Um, the passion, uh, I love talking to people that love collecting and doing what I do. So. Um, Instagram, Gem and 10 Collectors World, and obviously YouTube. Please press the subscribe button. We got about six PSA orders with amazing cards coming up, guys. So ring the bell because you're going to get notified of my new videos. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you uh, think in the comments. If you like this uh, video, please share it to your Facebook, and I'll see you next time.